Let's go through the innate immune system in more detail. We'll start out with a look at the physical barriers that protect us against invading pathogens. These barriers include, uh, actually I'm going to start at the bottom here, they're going to include the stratified squamous epithelium, which makes up our uh, skin, our outer layers of skin, um, multiple layers of epithelial cells, and keratin connected with desmosomes. If you think back to the beginning of the semester, when we talked about cell adhesions, desmosomes were some of those adhesions, they're very tight, very strong adhesions. And so we've got these multiple layers of cells uh, with connective tissue, that's basically what keratin is, it's proteins, and these fibers that are quite hard, keratin um, is what's responsible for our fingernails, for example, and uh, together these create quite the barrier to protect us. In addition to the stratified squamous epithelium, we of course have the secretions that are produced by that epithelium and by the glands contained within that epithelium, the sebaceous glands which secrete the oil and the sweat glands which of course are releasing uh, fluid with salts and so forth. Each of these secretions can contain um, bactericidal chemicals which will of course disrupt the bacteria, possibly make it um, difficult for that bacteria to remain on the skin or even to survive, as well as destructive enzymes such as lysozymes that are found in these secretions. We'll add to this list tears, uh, tears especially, contain an abundance of lysozymes to protect the delicate mucous membranes of the eyes and can even contain antibodies. The hair, not that we have a lot of it, we're not, not uh, as hairy as some mammals, but the hair provides protection against physical abrasion and uh, also protection from insects. And Here we can see in picture form the physical barriers that protect us. We have, of course, here's our hair, lovely hair, and uh, the keratinized cells. And then below that characterized layer of cells, the epithelium, um, additional epithelial layers in the desmosomes connecting those. Here's a sebaceous gland you can see that will secrete the uh, sebum, that's what we would call the oil, onto the surface of the skin, and our sweat glands and our hair follicles and so forth. Additional to the physical barriers is the epithelial lining of the various um, digestive, respiratory, urinary, and reproductive tracts. In the airways of our lungs, for example, we have a setup like this where we have our um, ciliated epithelium. Now remember the lungs are the only place really that have epithelium uh, in addition to one other place which is the fallopian tubes in the female. These cilia beat uh, like the oars of a boat in a rhythmic fashion. And the sandwiched in between some of these ciliated epithelium are the mucus cells. You can see here which are going to release mucal, mucus secretions into this would be the airway. Each of these cells are connected by tight junctions. In addition to the mucus being secreted, the ciliated epithelium also release a saline solution, so a salt water, that's what saline means. And so we have this thick layer of mucus sitting on top of a thin layer of saline. Of course, the mucus and the saline kind of mix together to make it slippery. And so we've got this slippery system called the mucus, or so the mucociliary escalator. And as the name suggests, its job is to trap particles, that's what the sticky mucus does, and then to sweep those particles out of the respiratory system. Most often that mucus is swallowed and then those particles, including trapped bacteria or viruses or pollen or dust, um, we live in California, there's plenty of pollution, all of that gets trapped in the mucus, or at least we hope it gets trapped in the mucus before it reaches our delicate alveoli. 
And so we sweep it upward, we swallow it, the digestive enzymes in our stomach take care of it, and you can actually see over here these are included as stomach acid, right? Very good at destroying things. And so um, some of it will spit out or will sneeze out or blow out, but a, a good percentage of this mucus is just swallowed and fun. All right, so these cells providing the physical barrier, washing away the pathogens and so forth, um, these are really critical to our physical barriers in the innate immune system.